morning folks, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Castaway Crew. So for the past two years, I've been dedicating my winter fishing to, to grayling. Um, and I've been trying to get a grayling over two pounds and thus far it hasn't happened. Now the thing with grayling fishing, especially in the UK, is that it's very temperamental. It's completely reliant upon the weather, which in the winter isn't great usually. And so you do have to have a little bit of luck on your side and, um, and have the right tactics in place to, to battle um, coloured water and high water. Today we are on the East Burton Estate on the River Froome. The River Froome has the British record, uh, which I think is four pounds something, um, and year after year has produced big grayling. I think a couple of days ago on the East Burton Estate there was five fish all over two pound one that was just over three. So the fish are here um, and it should be a good day. The water is not too bad. Um, and it's not too coloured, so we should have fun um, once we found the grayling. Uh, I'm fishing today with a really good mate called Toby, you'll see him uh, throughout the video. Um, another thing that I want to mention guys is how I'm going to be fishing for a grayling. Now Toby is going to be using a uh, French nymphing, Czech nymphing, and I'm actually going to be using a indicator style uh, rig. However, I watched an, uh, an episode of the IB and Andy fishing show, uh, which is on YouTube, and he had a pretty interesting way of, of, of fishing an indicator. Um, I won't get into it and I'll basically what I'll do is I'll just tag his video um, down below so you can see what I'm using but it is a way of allowing you to adjust the depth um, with float stoppers. Um, it sounds a bit bizarre but it does work. So guys stay tuned. Um, if you like the videos please like, comment, subscribe. I really want to try and get to a thousand subscribers. Every subscriber helps and if you like the videos it pushes the videos higher up in the algorithm. Um, so yeah, please like, comment, subscribe guys, you know the drill, and let's get to it. Yeah, there's definitely something there. Yeah. <laughs> there's one, there's one. Oh. For all your keyboard warriors out there, and you see this video and you see us catching trout, we're not actually targeting them. They're just a bycatch. So if you see us catching a trout, don't shout and scream in the comment section. Um, yeah, we just can't help what, what, what we catch. Anyway, try and get my fly over to the other side. Yeah. That run on the other side looks nice. Yeah. So you put the on, good, yeah? yeah, that's fish. Fish on. Fish on. Yeah. Oh! <laughs> 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 So at this point, I was kind of wondering if I had a hook attached to my fly. Uh, we'd missed a couple of fish and it just wasn't, wasn't happening. So we moved up to a stretch just a little bit further up, which looked more promising. And after several uh, covers of the run, we eventually got one to stick. Uh, but with the ongoing rain, it colored up the water. So it made fishing more and more tricky. Uh, but we eventually got one. Um, it just took a bit of time and a bit of persuading in the end. There we go. There we go. Yeah. You. And it's a grayling. It's a grayling. Let's go fish. Come over there and show you guys. Right, let me show you guys on the, on the camera. See, they're still filming. 
quickly. Nice little grayling. Shit back in the water. Just sat there. That was awesome. Hello, mate. There had to be a, I mean, there had to be a fish in there at some point. Two hours later, and um, in typical UK fashion, it had continued to rain. Um, this made fishing quite difficult. The water had come up significantly and the water was a lot more coloured. Um, I found another spot which was similar to the last in that it was a little bit shallower. Um, it had a deep run on the right hand side and it had gravel. Um, so I was in the right area. Again, it just took a lot of persuading, a lot of casting, um, a lot of hooking up on different objects, but eventually um, I got another one. It was hard walking against this current. There's one. There's one. There's one. Oh God, it's going downstream. Let's have a look at that fish. Okay, I went for my top fly. See if I can land him. Oh, the grayling. So by this point we had just had some lunch and to be honest the fishing had slowed right down. The water was getting higher, it was getting more and more coloured and just making things tricky. I moved up to the last section and stepped into the river and this happened completely by accident and I hooked onto something quite big. In typical oh fashion God. though, I then quite quickly it lost it, <laughs> as you can see there, um, and moved on to the last 10 or 15 yards of our beat. I'm sorry I didn't film this but I eventually got quite a big grayling and it was, try it was getting darker and darker so this really was sort of the last cast right, and I'm really thankful that we actually got one. Yeah, squirmy. Lays into a fish. Much better than the ones we've been having so far. Yeah, it's the best stamp. Deep there, man. I can't even get in. It's in. Oh, come on, mate. That's probably my PB there. Let's All right, so folks, after that fish, we called it a day. Um, it was getting darker and darker and it picked up raining again. Um, we had a fantastic day. It was very, very difficult. As you can see from, um, from the footage, we didn't get many fish. I think I had three or four, two, land, two or three landed. Toby had one. So it was a really tricky day, but nonetheless, really good fun. Guys, I do apologize for have, having been absent for the last uh, two weeks. Uh, life happened, I've had to pick up new jobs because of COVID and just try and make ends of meat. But I am back and I'm going fishing tomorrow. So stick with me, stay tuned. Um, guys, as ever, thank you very much for all the support that you give me and that you give the Castaway crew. If you could please like, share, comment, just do anything really to, 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 to help us, um, that would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you like the videos, please like, comment, subscribe, you guys know the drill, and we'll catch you on the next one.